let's go to 3d view and now let's discuss about how to document your drawings in Revit first let's discuss about the preparation so let's create the sheets where we can place our drawings in Revit while you are creating your 3d view you are also creating your plans your elevations and your section so meaning hindi siya separate hindi siya you create your 3d view then you create your plan view then you create your elevation and section in revit while you create the plan view you are also simultaneously creating the 3d views and other views they are all connected since they are just the same object whether you create the element here in the 3d or in the plan views so now let's prepare our drawings let's add sheets so to create sheets punta lang tayo dito sa we have a project not saved recently let's save our project it's just a pop-up reminder it will load a while depending on the capacity of your processors now our project is saved let's go to the project browser let's create sheets in this tutorial we are not creating sheets from the scratch we are cre we are using sheets provided by autodesk i will create other another video to create our custom sheets so here in the project browsers in the sheets let's right click it and then new sheet in the template we use the architectural metric template meron tayong default na a1 metric provided from the autodesk kung meron na kayong title block from, Re from revit you can load it from here click the load and then go to your file path folder then click open now let's use the metric uh, a1 metric sheet or title block click ok and then our sheet is open we have multiple views in the tabs just let's just close some of their views let's e1 lang natin itong 3d view and the a1 sheet so let's use uh, let's close other views the suggested number of tabs will be just four or three yeah let's just retain this too now that we have created sheets meron ng plus sign yeah we can create a sheet, a sheet then let's rename this let's name this a1001 our title sheet oh uh, no the num this is just the number let's name this one title sheet okay then let's add another sheet a1 metric okay let's name this a101 then uh, let's number this a101 then name this site development plan okay then let's add new sheet okay then let's name it just right click uh, click right click and this will appear a102 let's name this floor plans or plans okay and then let's add again click okay then let's name this our elevations then again a1 metric okay let's name these sections and then last 
let's name this our details yan so we have created 1 2 3 4 5 6 sheets so now let's place the model or drawings we have created to our sheets so let's prepare them on to our sheets bago natin lagyan ng tagging and anything to specify more on our drawings let's go first to the site development plan uh, i mean let's go first to the floor plans then go to the here's, here is the sheets and here is the views and AutoCAD this is the layout and in Revit this is the model view but in Revit you can have multiple model views unlike AutoCAD na isa lang yung model views niya okay and in Revit you don't have to create viewport automatic na every view meron na siyang concept na concept just like viewport pero ang tawag sa Revit is crop region so mas easier na ang paggawa ng region sa Revit and pag scale so let's place the first floor level to to place it into the sheet we don't have to create the viewport to show the first floor let's just in Revit you can have just click the first floor level and drag it to the sheet click drag and then click here to place the sheet ganyan lang and then naka name na yung meron ng uh, view title then let's place also the second floor click click long press drag and then bitawan mo yung click and then click yan nakalagay na yung first floor and second floor level natin now let's change this other uh, scale ang pag change ng scale dito sa Revit just double click the view on the sheets or you can go double click the first floor and change the scale right here so let's do it right here click this and then let's uh, choose 50 let's see how big it is in the sheet can we so tingnan natin kung kasya ba silang dalawa then yung process na ginawa ko na ito is pumunta tayo sa dito sa view but here I'll just rescale it right here directly in the sheet so double click and then here you can also see the scale so let's choose the 50 and then double click or right click anywhere and then deactivate view yan so makita mo dalawa na silang sa plan so let's arrange them so makita mo mayroon siyang alignment tool uh, I mean alignment from the rabbit you know that they are aligned yan so sakto naman sila pwede pa natin silang i-rescale to wala ang 1 is to 75 you can click custom and you can change it to 75 if you want it to be a little bit more smaller so let's do it custom 75 1 is to 75 okay yan that's how you change the scale then right click deactivate view so let's just use this scale 1 is to 75 yan okay you can right click the activate view or double click anywhere outside yan let's align them then I want to copy these grid lines to here in the second floor double click click control click then click the copy to clipboard let's click anywhere around then double click then let's place it go to modify paste align to current view yan double click hindi siya naka, uh, naka dimension dito so click and then click the edit witness line and click the grid line yan click skip yan we can adjust them to suit the drawing para mas maging malinis but for now, let's just do it like this. You can add a total dimension. Yan, nalagay na natin yung view natin. 
to move this view, pag minove mo itong view, mamove din ito yung title. But if you want to move just the, just the title, skip muna, and just click this, and then you can drag it anywhere. So, also we can change the name. We can change the name of the view without changing the name in the floor plan. So, to do it, punta lang tayo dito sa view, double click this one and then after you double click this one, go to the properties go to the identity data and title on sheet, so you can rename it to first floor plan, enter and then uncheck, so first floor plan na yung name niya, even the floor plans hindi na change, then here double click then let's go to the properties. Under identity data, go to title sheet. Second floor plan, enter. And it applies. Double click. Yan, meron na tayong floor plan. And then next, let's place the elevations. So let's go to the, let's close these views. Let's go to the elevation views. And we have here the elevation, front elevation. Yeah, let's rescale it, double click. Choose 50. Yan. And then let's move the levels. Click. Then make sure na naka-align sila para isang basis lang silang i-move. Yan. Dito din. Double click outside. Move it right here. And then let's separate this. Yeah. Then let's left side click, drag. Yeah. Let's rescale this to 1 is to 50. Double click outside. Yeah. Then change its level. click outside then let's align these two yan, pag nakita mo yung line dyan, align na yan sila yan, you can also use the arrow key in your keyboard to adjust yan to adjust this line, you can adjust it by clicking the view itself you just have to cl click the view here in the drawing and then mag reflect itong grip, just move this, yan click this and then align it there then click the view and yeah. then double click let's move this uh, symbol of the section right here yeah. skip uh, double click outside uh, let's just not show these sections Press VV twice, then go to the annotate categories, and then go to elevations, and check. Okay. Ah, sections pala to. VV, annotate, sections. Yeah. Click, and click. Wala na yung sections. Then, pabalik-balik na ito. Punta na tayo sa rare. Let's place the rare here. Double click outside. Make sure align sila. You can use the arrow key. Yan. Then let's move this level. Click the level line. And let's just eyeball it to align this level. Yan. Yan. Click outside. Then the right elevation. Then double click. 50. Double click outside. Just that. Yeah, and then arrow key to move. And then let's move this view names. 
Yan. You'll see nag-align sila. Makikita mo yung temporary lines. Yan. Then, let's move this section. Ah, no. Let's hide this. VV. Rotate. S. Section. Uncheck. Okay. Dito din na. Hide that. Kasi gagawa tayo ng longitudinal section. VV. Categories. Go to S. Press S in the keyboard para direction na siyang punta doon. Uncheck this section. And then here. Click. Salabas. VV. Click. Go to section. Okay. Yan. Click sa labas. Medyo nagkapatong sila but I have discussed how to do it in the, I think in the second part, uh, the part 2 of this two-story house modeling tutorial. Now let's place the sections. By the way, let's go back to this first floor. I have just created the transverse or cross section. Uh, nasa ceiling tayo. Uh, click. Punta tayo sa first floor natin. Nagawa natin yung transverse or cross section. Gawa tayo ng new section for our elevation. So let's place it right here. To there. Then skip twice. Then I want to see this there. So I click this. Then click this. Ito yung para mag flip siya to the other side. Click. Yan. Nag flip na siya to the other side. And to make this, you know, not this direction align, click this Z button. Ito yung segment. Then you can move it up right here and then here. Then ito, this one also. Click. Yeah, and then you can just move it right here. The one you see in the view is this one, in the elevation. Huwag nyo lang yung i-move para hindi mag-move yung mga nasa elevation natin, itong mga views nya. So, ito lang symbol nya. Yan. Mamove yung symbol pero hindi maapektuhan yung crop region mo which is the one who controls the view natin. Yan. Let's just use, uh, yeah, let's just put it right here. Yan. As you can see, wala pa siyang number kasi hindi pa natin siya nalagay sa sheet. Pero once nalagay natin siya sa sheet, magre-reflect na yung number niya dito. So, let's go to the, let's X the elevation sheet. Let's go to the section sheet. Yan. Double click. Then, here in the section, yan. Ito, nagawa tayo. Let's go here. So, let's click this section 1. Click, then drag. Then, click right here. Ito yung transverse section natin. Double click, then let's change its scale to 50. Yan. Click outside. Uh, click muna natin to Click this one and then yan. Then let's move. Uh, let's uncheck. It, kung meron kayo nakikita na boundary, ito yan silang dito sa first floor. Ito yan sila. So just move this. Not this one. As you can see, meron na tayong numbers which is the section number 1 and then the number of sheet which is this one. Yan. Automatic na siyang mag-update yung number. So, to hide this region, kung makikita mo ito, just click this under the view control bar. Click this. Hide crop region. Yan. Double click outside. Then, let's move this view right here. And then, move this right here. The section 1, let's name this. Right click. Cross section. Enter. And then, of course, this is the methodonal section. Enter. And then, let's place it also right here. Click OK. So, as you can see, skip ko muna pala. Wala siyang number. Ito yung longitudinal section natin. So, if I place the longitudinal section here to here, then click. Mag-update na yung number niya. Ito yung 2. Tapos, ito siya dito. Right, so double click to inside and change the scale to 1 is to 50. Yeah, and then let's natabunan yung roof natin, kaya let's move this to there. And then here, medyo lapit natin. And then ito, uh, ang grids medyo itaas natin. 
then let's lower the section symbol let's move this right here and then let's click this segment then let's uncheck the crop region double click outside to reposition the section yan so now we have the elevations and sections let's go to the de detail so this is where it also goes to be the most valuable also features of Revit not just this one so here in the section uh, the cross section let's go inside let's create a detail views so to create a detail views in Revit gawa ka lang ng call out so you can double click it you can create call out right here or you can go to the cross section here and then let's create call out go to the view and then here in the create panel we have call out click and then create rectangle click and then let's create a region click right here to right here click yeah and then click the region let's move this bubble onto the other side jan or you can move it right here skip right here and you can arrange the elbow and let's make it straight yan so we have created our call out you can change it there uh, it's it's line line type but let's not use it uh, let's not do it for now so once we have created this region mag add itong dito section call out yan so ito yan siya so if i double click this one so ang nakikita na lang is yung section ng roof with a new scale yan yung kaibahan kagandahan ng revit hindi na natin kailangan i-copy itong hole and then i-crop natin so gumawa lang tayo ng region meron na tayong call out section let's name this right click rename let's name this wall section and then enter yeah then let's place it to the sheet uh, detail sheet yeah then let's drag click drag yeah click here so now we have the wall section click I think we can we can make it a li little bit bigger so click uh, let's just use this section because to create it bigger just click the one is 20 just like that yeah let's use this uh, scale then click this up scale para mawala yung crop then click outside to reposition and then what's better is when we are in the cross section here as you can see kung balik tayo dito sa sections na sheets nagkaroon na siya ng numbering which is itong sa details ito yung number 5 1 is to 5, yan, yung details natin. Then, let's create another call out to create our uh, details for the wall, wall, uh, wall roof, wall floor, and foundation. So, let's do it. Double click. Go to view, call out, rectangle. Let's create a rectangle view. Click. Then, click the crop view. Then, let's move this right here and then let's show a elbow now we have the wall color section let's rename this one typical wall roof connection enter and let's go back to the double click let's go back to the yeah here let's drag this typical wall roof connection here click okay as you can see mas malaki na siya so click we can adjust the scale so 10 we can use one is to 20 so parang dito siya yeah let's use this one is to 10 kung magkasya pa ba ito so click then crop region I mean, on crop region, mas paliitin natin. Then, dyan. 
John and then let's move it here and let's remove the level go to VV and the keyboard go to annotation find the levels then uncheck okay and then crop region change it click and space it in the upper side here or here para dito yung annotations natin or dito so sa gitna na lang and let's move this we can edit this one but let's not use it do it for now then the double click let's create also rectangle click then it will add new section pull out click let's move the yeah then let's name this Then double click outside, then drag it right here. Yan. Let's just uh, palit na lang natin itong scale nito. So 25. Yan. Then let's adjust this one. We see the walls, and then we see these furniture. Kaya medyo parang ano siya tignan, magulo siya tignal. Let's uncheck the. Let's go to VV. Let's uncheck the furnitures and the plumbing fixtures. P. Yan uncheck, then click OK. Yan we just see the wall yung wall uh, from here naka nakalitaw siya in 300 so let's zero yan okay so ito yung wall and floor then let's adjust the grids then this one okay and Oops, let's move this down para magkasya yung details natin. You can decide on your own scale. Yeah, and then let's the foundation natin. Double click, go to view, rectangle, the foundation. Yeah, click. Let's move it right here. Yan. As you can see, the moment na ni-reflect natin siya sa sheet, nag-update yung numbering na. Wala siyang number is because hindi pa natin siya na-move. Click outside, then click this. Ito yung ngayon. Ito, wall section call out one. Let's name this one. Typical foundation detail. enter then drag it right here click yan double click let's change this to ano nga ba tong scale na ginamit natin 10 yan so hindi dumiretso yung walls natin wala tayong uh, FTB or uh, wall footing it's because um, let's do it in the architectural uh, beginner's course for now let's just use this one na hanggang sa finish grid line lang muna siya yeah let's hide the level vv press lang muna lang, muna lang yung vv sa keyboard let's go to level l check okay 
Then let's just retain the grids. Yeah. Then remove this one. Then click double click outside. Then move this one. We can edit this one, but not 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 now. Let's not do it right now. Then click. Yeah. So from here you can we can tag or we can tag or we can you know you can we can create additional details. So but for now let's use the preparation. Actually parang nag draw na din tayo nito. Let's remove the levels here. VV lang yan. Then uncheck. Okay. And what I want to discuss also is kumakita mo naka one line type lang siya. It's because by default Revit hides the the line weights. Unlike AutoCAD na kailangan natin magplot para makita yung line weights, in Revit automatic na makita natin yung line weight naka-reflect sa drawing natin. That's why white yung background ng Revit. So to do that, let's click this. Yan yung thin lines. Ang command is TL. Click. As you can see, nakita mo, meron na siyang line weights. No, line weights ng section natin. You can also see it around here. Yan, meron siyang line weights. Yan. So, ayan. Meron na tayong floor plans, elevation section, and details. Let's create our site development fund. <coughs> Excuse. The site development plan is just uh, you know just like first floor we can use this site right here but what I'll do is I'll just duplicate the first floor level right click duplicate then duplicate with detailing then as you can see meron na rin siyang line weight na naka adapt we can change the line weight uh, I'll discuss it in another video in Revit it's called object styles Yeah, then let's change this name into Site Development Plan. Cli right click, rename, Site Development and Plan. Okay, enter. And then uh, it is just the save reminder. Let's save our project. By the way, hindi natin na place yung kitchen object natin. So we, I, I will create a separate video to create the kitchen elements wins because uh, marami tayong ipapalo na dimension dyan. Tapos medyo mataas din yung discussion yan. So let's just load a kitchen elements na preloaded na or provided na by Autodesk. Click insert. Load family. I'll just segue a bit. Go to click the up one level folder. Let's go to the click click again let's go to the specialty equipment click and then here in the domestic double click click the kitchenette medium click open then let's place it go to architecture component place component so na pinakauna na siya again natin then right there skip twice uh, lagyan para natin ng window medyo kulang yung mga nalagay natin dati now for this double casement lang yung lagay natin ito lagay natin dito yan click yan and then lagyan natin ng door opening door opening lang hindi lang yung door talaga skip twice go to door and then, yeah, let's create door opening. Itong pinakamalaki. Then, lagyan natin around here. Yan. Skip twice. Yan, site development plan. So, it will also reflect on the first floor plan. As you can see, same lang sila. But, in the site development plan, sana yung sa ito. 
alay these elements lalagyan natin ng masking uh, i mean hatch or field region punta lang tayo sa annotate then here in the region click the field region and then let's choose diagonal up and then let's click the pick lines tapos click natin dito 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 make sure na mag abot yung dalawang lines and dito dito and then dito yan make sure mag abot sila so now naka close loop na yan so let's click uh, no, before we click check skip muna tayo skip skip and then let's select these lines pwede na tayong mag window since sila lang naman yung masiselect dyan yan window select natin and then let's change the lines to wide lines then click check yan And for the site elements, uh, let's leave it for the next uh, future videos. I'll update, uh, I'll upload them soon. <clears throat> but for now, let's just uh, add text here. I'll go to the annotate again and then text. Click right here and then. Yeah. Click enter. Now to. <clears throat> to apply pala click outside yan skip skip then if you don't if hindi mo siya ma-select yung text press lang ng tab sa keyboard tab tab hanggang sa yan select pwede na siya ma-select click then you can arrange it gawin natin center yan gawin natin ganyan click yan we can clean it but for now let's just use this one x then go to site development plan plan uh, site development plan sheets click and then let's drag our site development plan right here yeah we can change its scale yeah So now, naka-reflect na siya sa ating sheets. Ang kulang lang natin is to create the perspective. So to create the perspective view, punta ka lang dito sa first floor level. Then gawa tayo ng perspective view. To create the perspective view, gawa lang tayo, punta lang tayo dito sa 3D view. And then itong drop down, click the camera. And then itong camera na kita nyo, it's just kung saan ka nakatayo, click mo yan dyan. For example, let's say dito tayo nakatayo, click uh, dito click and then ang range ng makikita natin hanggang dito yan click then it will generate a perspective view yan we can move yan and let's use these new colors yan just name this perspective one. Enter. Let's create another perspective. Check this X. Let's create another camera. Dito na naman. Click. Then click. It will generate. Then yan. We can also create the boundaries of our building, but let's not do it for now. Yan. Or we can create, let's name this perspective 2. Then we can also create, you know, from the, yung nakaharap talaga. Camera, and then dito. Yan. Click. So yan, let's just use this perfect perspective. Mas gaganda na ito once na na-model na din yung boundaries, yung gate. You know, pag nalagyan natin ng sak sasakyan, pag nakalagay tayo ng at least uh, new roof dito. Yan. But let's not do it. At least alam nyo na kung paano itong process nito. 
Yan. And then, let's click. Pangalan natin itong perspective lang. Then, let's use this one. Go to perspective sheet. Uh, title sheet, dito natin lagay yung perspective view. Go to the 3D perspective. Click, then double click. And then, let's change. To change the, in, because it is perspective, hindi yan ma-scale natin. Click lang natin ito, then click natin itong boundary. After clicking that, size crop. Make sure na naka-click itong scale lock proportion. And then, let's from 100, let's double this one to uh, yeah, 250. Then, apply. Yan, mas lumaki na siya. Click OK. Yan. O, palikain pa natin. Click, size crop. Click this scale lock proportion. 300. Yan. Click OK. Yan. So, that's how to adjust the size of the perspective. Uncheck. Yan. Double click. Then, let's move this one. Yan. System colors. Yan. So, that's it. That's how you prepare your documentation. So, this is the five sheets that we have created. Elevations. And then the... Oops. Magpas yung... Reads. Yan. Baba natin. Then... Sections. Yan. And then the details. 